Leo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Leo, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, you got that sun energy right here. This is one of the best cards, if not the best card in the tarot. This lets you know anything you touch right now will turn into gold. Expect major significant improvements to happen for you. So you've been waiting for a promotion, you're at the cusp of getting it. Or you're waiting to meet your soulmate, it's right around the corner. Now, you don't control how, who, what, right? You don't control that aspect of, of, of what uh, happens in your life. That's up to the, your angels and guides, the universe spirit. But what you do control over is when, because when your energy matches and you're in alignment with the energy of your event that you're looking for, it happens immediately. So right now, by being in a magnetic energy, right? When you have that King of Cups energy, that intuitive higher self energy, it happens and I'll show you exactly how to get there. Now look at this, right? You got the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, King of Wands. Look at the synchronicities, the world card, major, major opportunities. You also have the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. There's some sort of bond, some sort of long-term bond between you and someone else that is about to materialize for you. Now, Leo, your affirmation for today is the universe loves me. Yes, it does. Write this down in the comment section. Quantum entangle with this energy. Remember, you gotta invite and welcome the energy of abundance. So write down the universe loves me in the comment section. Command, assume, expect the, really the, the, the what is your birthright, which is abundance. The universe loves me. Write that down in the comment section. You are magnetic and you're attracting people that match your energy, match your frequency, right? People that are like-minded individuals, someone who sees you for who you truly are. When they look at you, it's not like visually what they see. They see past lives, galaxies. They see, really, they, they see that energy within you that they understand that by being around you, being near you, it's in their benefit, right? Really at the end of the day, it's like when you are around someone's energy and you feel like you're learning from them, you're growing, you naturally, it's in your DNA to want to be around that energy. This is what you provide. You gotta know your worth. Know that you are a high frequency, high energy being. You are tapped in to source. Source is your best friend, it is your business partner, it is your cheerleader, your bodyguard, everything. But you have to remember that you are not your body, you're not your bills, you're not your worries, you are your soul. That's what you gotta tap into. Now right now your angels are telling you that not only are you meeting people that are magnetically drawn to you, but I see opportunities presented to you. You got the seven of pentacles, energy of long-term investments paying off. So maybe right now opportunity that's gonna happen as far as your career business goes, where a couple years down the road, you're going to be able to make passive income and not have to ever worry about working again. This is all stuff that is happening for you as soon as you're in alignment with this energy. And by getting in alignment, that really just means having more of a confident approach to what you're looking for. So for example, lead by example. Don't wait for anything. You're waiting to meet someone to be able to help guide you. Great, fantastic. In that time, build yourself. Create a significant you, right? Feel good. When you feel good, you're approachable. That's, that's the, the step that you can take right now. Now you have that three of pentacles energy, so there's definitely third parties that are going to be here mentoring and guiding you. And I do see here that these third parties are going to come in your life directly or indirectly. Like for example, like someone say, hey, you know, I have a friend in town and they're a day trader and they can show us how to day trade. Or for example, you might, you know, randomly meet someone at a coffee shop. But I do see here that there is a networking and collaboration, uh, uh, collaborating energy here that is manifesting for you in the near term. Now with that two of pentacles, your angels are telling you that this is a time to be decisive in your life. There is some sort of energy here you're holding on to that is not decisive, right? There's a wobbly energy here. You have to make a decision, whether it's in your career or your love life, maybe it's about moving and you're having a hard time doing so because you don't trust yourself. There's no heart coherence. Without heart coherence, we have nothing, right? So for example, the mind thinks but the heart knows. So maybe right now you're telling yourself, I want to ask my boss for promotion, but I'm scared that they might fire me because they might get mad, right? but that 
trust that the fact that you're having a hard time committing to what you truly want is only because you're not in alignment with your soul, with your life's purpose. When you are in alignment, fear does not exist. Fear only exists when we're off our life's purpose. So ask yourself, what is going on in your life right now that's making you feel like you're off your life's purpose? Like for example, like when you watch something, when you watch a show on YouTube, does it make you feel better? When you are you know, uh, thinking of someone, does it help raise your vibration or lower your vibration? Because these are all warning signs from the universe telling you to create some sort of change. Now you got the star card and this is about the turbulence being over. So expect something new to happen. A chapter is closing, a new chapter is opening in your life. This chapter that is opening is only happening because you accumulated a lot of lessons, collected a lot of data, and now it's time to put those past experiences in the past. Keyword, keep them in the past. Because I do see here there's a lot of pressure that you've put on yourself by not being perfect but you are human and you're here to collect lessons. You're here to experience contrast. Like for example, how do you know what hot is if you never experience cold? How do you know what joy is if you never experience pain? You don't want to be in that painful state for too long, but you're supposed to feel it just you know quickly and realize, oh, this is what I want and what I don't want. But you can't be hard on yourself and tell yourself, why did I do this? Why did I not do this? Because that causes resistance. And right now your angels are telling you, don't be hard on yourself. Now you got that six of swords and this is about leaving the past in the past and right now spirit is letting you know it is time to leave the past and come home to the present moment. Matter of fact, use the present moment to envision the future. For example, I always live in a timeline that's 10 years from now. Right now I accumulate around $50,000 a month day trading but I live in a timeline where I'm making $10 million a month, excuse me, not $50,000 a day I wish, $50,000 a month still, right? But I'm living in a timeline where I'm accumulating 10 million a month, right? So even the 50K guy that I have right now per month day trading, I'm like, oh, that's great and all. But I'm not living in this timeline, right? I'm living in a timeline where I am doing, you know, much, much more than that. So this is the energy that your angels and guides want you to focus on. And on top of that, it's way more fun as well. Now you got the world card and this is about being able to take that leap of faith and not only following where the yellow brick road, the infallible guide is leading you, but also embracing the change and welcoming the change as if it's a breath of fresh air. You love change. You love changing the clothes you wear, the food you eat, you love changing the shows you watch. So you love change. Your angels and guides love change as well because they're living life through you, collective consciousness. That means that they love trying new things. They're not worried about failure or rejection. Now who hates change? The only person that hates change on your team is your ego because the ego fears uncertainty, even if the change is something good. For example, like imagine if I told you, hey, you can quit your job and you can come with me in a private jet tomorrow and we're gonna go see a unicorn that you know uh, eats or, or, or hands out cash with its with the snarls or whatever. You're gonna be like, what the heck, sure. But then your ego's gonna say, no, don't do it. It's a setup or don't do it. You know, we're gonna hurt ourselves on the plane. It's gonna come up with any reason why you shouldn't do it. You have to be aware that anytime you feel fear, it is not you. You love change. And this is what this card is about right now. Embrace the change. Don't hold on to the same old energy or else you will get the same old results, right? So try something new and let go. Out with the old and with the new, right? All right, so let's see what we got. Your animal spirit, flamingo spirit. Look at that, embrace the in-between, right? What does that mean? Don't wait for the outcome, be in the moment, right? So for example, don't tell yourself, I will be happy when I'm rich. Tell yourself, I am happy now that I am on my journey to get rich. I'm happy to be able to create $1,000, $2,000, make that into five, five into 10, 10 into 50, right? Ba, 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 over to a mill. Not, I will be happy when I have a mill because that goal line always gets pushed and that goal line seems like it could be a big task, you know? Like for example, famous quote by Martin Luther King was, don't look at the whole staircase, look at the next step, right? The next micro step. All right, now check this out. Final message from your spirit guides. They say the big picture. And right now their message to you is, there's so much more going on that meets the eye. Right now is when you don't want to be overthinking things. Don't try to micromanage the situation. Instead, look at it from different angles. And that's really having an outside perspective, right? Rather than try to look at it from the perspective of this is happening to you, look at it as if this is happening for you. For example, your landlord says you have to move. Rather than be like, I can't believe this is happening to me, be like, wow, okay, this is an opportunity to find a house closer to work, closer to the school for my kids, cheaper in rent. I would have never done this had I've been forced or nudged in that direction. It's all perspective. So right now, 
Understand that big things are about to happen for you. Embrace the change, welcome them Op with open arms, love them, right? And let the universe deliver the abundance that is truly your birthright and let the universe do its job by allowing it to by being in that high vibration. All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Now, if you wanna watch a really good video, check out these videos.